Good morning, third grade. I thought that I would surprise you this morning by coming to life in this read aloud video. I hope that you guys are doing well. I miss you guys so much. I miss your faces and all your stories that you would share with me. But today's read aloud is actually a requested read aloud by our very own Wilhelmina Phelps. So I don't know if you guys have seen this screen before, but on those um, Google Slides that I am sharing with your parents, there is this message right here for you. And it says that if you have a request for a book that you want me to video read aloud next, let me know. So you guys could have your very own book read to you. Now it kind of depends on if I have that book and luckily I do have the book that Mina requested and it is called The Day the Crayons Came Home and it is written by Drew Daywall and Oliver Jeffers. Now this was a new addition to our classroom. Some of you have already read it, some of you have not, so I thought that this would be a great opportunity for us to read it together, okay? So let's get started. One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch. Then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have sur survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crayon, maroon crayon. Paperclip is literally holding him together. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent, AKA the crayon formerly known as Key Green. Hi Duncan, it's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly you do not, because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crayon. That's a pretty nice pool though, so can't really complain there, right? Duncan, it's us, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun, but guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know, the real color of the sun, hot. That's what, we're sorry for, our, for arguing. You can make green the color of the sun after all. Just bring us home, your not so sunny friends, yellow and orange. Hey Duncan, I'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors I've been through. I guess I was tan crayon or maybe burnt sienna. I don't know, I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug, Duncan. And it's not pretty, not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. 
can you please bring me back your non-digestible friend, tan crayon or burnt sienna? Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Hey Duncan, remember last Halloween we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then redrew that scary stuff on the wall? Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, glow in the dark crayon. Now what's fun about this page right here is that it actually does glow in the dark. So, pretty cool. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France, I think. Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? See you soon, neon red crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. Duncan. Does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you, it'd make me blunt if you colored each coin individually, but would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also, no. Now, I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy, I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent. Hi, Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? Your stinky, socky, stucky on the head buddy, turquoise crayon. P.S. Sock says hi. The sock is saying, tell him I said hi. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top of my head off. Put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall, and tried to color garbage with me. The worst part is he is a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child is an artist. I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me. Your desperate friend, big chunky toddler crayon. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest, making great time. I think I'm almost home, neon red crayon. Sure does look like the Amazon rainforest, doesn't it? Is that a kilt? Hello, Duncan, it's me, brown crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. 
candy bars, puppies, ponies, lucky me, right? Bet they don't know what else you used to color me. I bet they don't know what else you used to color me with, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but did it really need the final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please, let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, Brown Crayon. Bear Goes in the Woods by Duncan. I'll let you use your imagination as to what that brown scribble is next to the bear. It's just a brown scribble. Duncan was sad to learn all of the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crayon would always feel like home. I'll let you guys read this page when we get back, okay? There's a lot of funny sayings by these crayons in their new home. So when we get back, you guys can read that. And then in Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China. Yours truly, Neon Red Crayons. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed that book as much as I did. It was definitely a funny one. Um, what I would like for you guys to do is I'm going to post a little project or fun craft and writing piece for you guys to take part in. It is completely optional, but I figured that you guys might like to connect to the story a little bit more. So if that's something that you would like to do, I will post that on Class Dojo and your parents can um, help you access that and you can get started on that. So um, if you have a read aloud request, please send that to your parents and let me know what you'd like to read next. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in to day three of our book a day with Miss A. I will see you guys very soon. Bye third grade.